Hey Clash fans, Trample Damage coming at you today with a surefire methodology for defeating the Goblin Champion Challenge, which is worth a Builder Potion, so definitely take care of this on any of your accounts. It's a difficult challenge, but we're going to make it very simple, breaking it down into a couple of steps. We're going to deploy some regular goblins in here, we're going to put the Flame Flinger behind this fortune tree, then we're going to deploy three rocket balloons on this side of the base, four rocket balloons on this side, then we're going to hit each of those three X bows with three rocket balloons. And then we're going to check some of these buildings here to make sure enough of them are destroyed on the outside, just the elixir collectors and the gold mines, allowing the flame flinger to take the town hall before deploying the ice golem and royal champion to take out the defenses up here. I will tell you more about my podcast and stuff as we wait for the flame flinger because that's going to take a minute. So we're going to start with a goblin on each of these spots here to trigger the Teslas. Then we're going to put the Flame Flinger right behind this fortune tree. We're going to switch over to grab some rocket balloons, and we're going to go one right here, one by the goblin statue, one in between these collectors. On the right-hand side, we're going to deploy four rocket balloons, one on the Tesla, one between here, one on the goblin statue, one up here. All those Teslas will go down. Now we can circle back to get the Expos. One, two, three. Well, ooh, I only put two of them in there. Expo going to go down. Hey, yep, we're good. Okay, one, two, three up top. One, two, three on the left. And now we need, the Flame Flinger is going to take the Town Hall, but we need to be at 50%. So if any of the gold mines down here on the bottom are still up, go ahead and use a Sneaky Goblet to take them out, but don't go any further than that outside row. Because if you deploy some inside here, they could potentially trigger the Clan Castle. Once that Elixir Storage is down right here, we can send a Goblin across here to trigger those two Tornado Traps. It's good to just make sure that the Flame Flinger doesn't get caught up. At this point, we have lots of time to kill while the Flame Flinger's going to get the Town Hall, so I will tell you to check out my new podcast, Inside Clash. It's almost two months old, so maybe it's not that new anymore. But my podcast is a lot of fun. I've been getting a bunch of positive feedback about it. Also, check me out on TikTok. Check me out on Instagram. Check me out on Twitter. I also downloaded Threads because my son said, you need to download the Threads app. So I downloaded Threads. I'm on there as well. It's a lot of cool stuff that I wind up putting out. Of course, you can also use creator code TRAMPLE. If you're not using mine, use somebody's. There are so many creators that work really hard to create nice content for you in addition to tools like the Clash Ninja Tool and Clash Spot. So if you're not supporting me, at least support somebody. When the Town Hall goes down, which it is about to go down right now, we will go ahead and deploy the Ice Golem over here. The Ice Golem is going to move up toward the Inferno Towers, and it will get all these goblins and sneaky goblins out. We're going to go ahead and double poison them, and then wait a moment and send the Royal Champion in on this side over here. When the sneaky goblins wind up dying to the poison, the Ice Golem will also be freezing that stuff. The Royal Champion will be able to take out this Inferno Tower and that Wizard Tower. This one might have already taken some damage from a Rocket Balloon, so once the Royal Champion takes out this Wizard Tower here, we can trigger her Seeking Shield, and it will damage those other three Inferno Towers. Sometimes that Wizard Tower will go down, but it doesn't always go down. You see we have 37 seconds left with a Freeze Spell, an Invisibility, a Haste, and a ton of Goblins. You can go ahead and deploy some of them around just to help with the cleanup to make sure that it all goes down nice and quickly. But you don't even really need to use all of them because between the Dragon Rider and Lassie and the Royal Champion, they are going to take down the majority of the stuff without needing any additional help. Plus, it gives me more time to tell you guys to check out my stuff. Look how much stuff we swagged! 18 sneaky, 7 goblins, 3 spells. If you need extra time or you need some help, use the freeze to give the Royal Champion some more life. Use the rest of the goblins to take things down quicker. Make sure that you're following me. Make sure that you're using creator code TRAMPLE. And please, more than anything, please check out my podcast, Inside Clash. The link for it will be down in the comments. And we will check you guys out on the next video.